Welcome back to Level Up with Mitts. We finally got it in. This is the TKM Auto Black Sport Bar Rack for the back of the Jeep. Previously I did an install. It was the chrome version, but my truck kind of needs black. So this is the install for this guy. We're going to go through a quick unboxing. I'll zip through the assembly. We'll get it on the truck. We'll show you the finished product. Stick around. It's Level Up with Mitts. We'll be done in no time. out of the box as you can see it looks great no damage on any of the equipment hardware is packaged individual packages everything was wrapped in the foam and the tape and it looks pretty clean and ready to be set up so step one lay out all the parts step two we'll go through the hardware I always like to arrange all the hardware by pieces and then we'll walk through and go through the instructions so TKM Auto is very good about the accessories packs. I've never had any issues. I definitely like to lay them out just so I have the bolts, the washers, and all the odd pieces set in their groupings. It just makes following the instructions easier. A few things you might want to have on hand to make your life easier. Three, four, and five millimeter hex head for the bolts. Five eighths deep socket and a five eighths crescent. So I do use my power ratchet to get the bolts on and get them going. What I highly recommend is you hand tighten everything. You do not want to strip these bolts and over tighten them. So get it started with this if you want, but finish up by hand with a crescent wrench or the provided Allen wrenches. You'll save the bolts, you won't strip them, and it's a much better secure fit when you do it by hand. A little installation tip. They provided you the foam. This actually works really good for a work surface so you don't scratch the material. Start with the light bar. And then we're gonna add the sides. Once you get them lined up, there's two threaded. There's a slot. Just feed it right into the tubing. Loose fit, required bolts, tighten it up. On the other side, you have the additional wire for the brake light. You're probably gonna to wanna to feed that through the tube. That way you get it close to the bed and then you can figure out how to tie it into the wiring of the truck later. So the back setup is all ready to go. It is actually its own bag of hardware. You have the bolts, you have the lock washers and the regular washer. You just line them up, hand tighten, bolt, lock washer, washer, Thing. Repeat this on both sides and the top frame is started. So again, just tighten those to the point where they're close, not all the way. There will be some room to adjust. As we add more pieces, we'll go back around and tighten all of these bolts. Next, there's a plastic bag with the rubber feet and the plastic couplings. The rubber feet are for the bottoms that will go on the bed or on the bed brackets. And the two hard plastic cups are gonna go on the end pieces and fit right around this tubing. Next is the crossbar. Feed it in one side, feed it in the other side. You have two mounting holes right here. The provided hardware goes through and you bolt it in. I'm gonna save you a ton of time. So the way that I found to make all these parts line up when I originally set them up through the directions, I was off on all sides. I could not get the badge on the side, nothing lined up. What I did was I took the angled side rail, the curve goes to the tailgate, and the flat riser should be on the inside. So I mounted the badge bolts on the outside and basically put this arm on. Then with everything assembled for the over the cab, stand it up, mount it in here first and then attach them. 
I could not get them to line up properly. And as you can see, this one over here, this is the way it would look. You have the flat side on the outside with the badge mounts. I put this tech screw in and this tech screw in first. I have not put this one in yet, but I could not get this to align the other way. So by doing it this way, you can actually see you have more adjustment here. There's a bolt that'll pass through and connect the side rails. The badges basically start the four bolts, line them up. Mounting the light bar extension rack is pretty easy. Flip facing down, start in the center, add a nut. And repeat, space them out. These will adjust in and out. Just tighten them up and you're all set. Pretty much to finish this install, this is everything you'll need. You have the under the bed brackets, which will fit under the lip. You have the bolts, you have the lugs, washers and bolts so long story short what we're going to do is we're going to take the rack and slide it up to the cab once you slide it to the cab you want to make sure your measurements are the same on both sides that way the rack is not off centered I still have the bolts loose. Once I get this aligned and mounted to the bed, I'm gonna go through all the bolts and hand tighten them again. much as quick as that is they're installed so these are the black sport bars from TKM Auto and this is my 2020 Jeep Gladiator <laughs>